Or was it even a mine? I'm from smoke. I got the smoke, boys. Get, get the. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Somebody clipped that. What the fuck, dude? More explosives, Hadir? Never too much. Same as before. Enemies. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I thought press F to pick it up, dude. They wouldn't send these forces. Briggs, we're heading inside. Stand by. Hold. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I fucking saw it, but I'm not, I noticed it too late, dude. Since Modern Warfare finally released, I thought I would make a video with my first impressions. I started with playing the campaign. It took me around two hours before I could get in since it had issues with the launch like most games have. Anyway, I played the campaign on the highest difficulty which is called realism and it took me around six hours to complete it and holy shit was it good though. I had really high expectations on it and I wasn't let down at all which usually have been the case recent years when I get hyped for a game but Modern Warfare story campaign it was still amazing to me. A lot of my viewers watching the, the playthrough live said it was like a movie and I can agree. It had a lot of cinematics and a lot of different missions with different way to play it and just mixing it like the game up. A lot of the new games I play feels all the same, like take Breakpoint Story for example. Everything is just super generic and the same thing all the time so I'm really happy that Modern Warfare like made all the missions unique. And talking about Breakpoint, if you like that tactical shooter style, you should just buy this game. Especially if you like story, because you will love it. Like sure, you can say the story is short. It's 14 missions that took me around 6 hours. But they also do have Spec Ops that continues the story. And right now on release, it's 5 missions and you can do co-op on that as well. And it's supposed to take around 45 minutes to 1 hour each. And I believe they said they would add more of those in the upcoming months. If you wanna check what the story campaign is all about, I did upload my full playthrough, which you can check in the playlist in the pinned comment below. So talking about the multiplayer, I haven't played it too much on release, maybe 10 hours, but I did play a lot during the beta. So a big letdown for me on launch day was that Ground War was disabled for the first 16 hours, which means I couldn't play it on day one. I played the normal 6 vs 6 and 10v10 modes and I didn't really have the best time with it but it was the same in the beta for me. I enjoyed Ground War way more than the normal modes and this Call of Duty, it's kind of rough to get into, it, it will take some time. If you played a lot of Call of Duties during the years, you know you can just run and gun. In this one though, it's super punishing and it's not the best idea. So I'm still in the process trying to slow down and play a bit smarter. But it will take some time though. This Call of Duty is more about holding spots slash angles and moving slower because there's so many angles that people can shoot you from. So it's definitely not everybody's cup of tea. Like sure you can play aggressive with like a shotgun, SMG or any weapon for that case. But as I said like the big difference are the map designs compared to the previous CODs. There's just so many more angles that you can get shot from and a lot more vertical buildings and such. So I guess right now I think the game have amazing gunplay, it just feels so tight. It have an insane amount of modding to the guns, like I've never seen this much ever, like it's actually crazy. Like some of the maps are quite cool though, especially the new Ground War map, but it doesn't really feel like COD. So right now like my biggest complaint I guess, is that it's really punishing to play aggressive, since there's not enough incentive to play the objective, and it's Call of Duty as well, a lot of people are never gonna move since the time to kill is this fast. So I think you need to add more incentive for objectives since people are just gonna camp no matter what with this type of time to kill. Anyway, I'm not really sure what I think about PvP overall yet. I need to play it more to get a grip on the game. So I will be grinding this in the upcoming days and I might come back with a personal opinion later if you, if you wanna hear that. But I think if you are on the edge to buying this game, I would recommend it. There's so many different game modes, great story, and what I heard, 
Battle Royale is on the way as well, and I personally think this game is gonna be perfect for BR. Anyway, just wanted to give some of my first impressions here, since a lot of people asked. Expect more videos and better gameplay in the upcoming days, and if you have any video suggestions for Modern Warfare, let me know in the comment section below. I will leave you here with uh, some matches edited down, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and have a nice day. This map is not perfect though, but it's better than the other map, that's for sure. So I'm gonna like have to play a bit more passive. See what I'm shooting at. I was pretty sure it was one guy to my right as well. Yeah, there was two guys there. Dude. I was like, why is it not shaking here, dude? MP5 in here, though. So they all below her. The only thing with this map though is usually the sea house, everybody's camping. But I take that every day over like people just camping on five roofs, you know. I'm gonna go and grab B. That shit won't be easy. Still all the same amount of tanks, I think. It's gonna be hard to cross here. There's a freaking... Okay, nobody's using the tank. Would oh, do that iron sight was hard to see with, man. Let's cap this. There's so many people coming. Fuck, there's just so many locations that can be at. We're holding Bravo. Enemies taking Delta. Thunder was on arriving on the mission. Well, that's a lot of people. How do you shoot actually? Dude, I'm gonna barely get any kills for this. How do you shoot missiles with this? Yes, yeah, spawn there, please. Freaking tanks, man. Motherfucking tanks. Well, at least we got this map, man. This map is actually fun. It's still not perfect, though, but this map, it's fun. Compared to the other map. I will just try to see if I can get this map all the time. I thought I heard it was free maps though, but I guess there's only two now on launch. Maybe they're releasing one later. Wait, I didn't. I did not show my rank. <laughs> 